what do you think is going to happen to Pakistan if Benazir Bhutto does come into power and the Pakistan People's Party is elected in the January elections? Um, well, as a citizen, rather than a niece, as a citizen of Pakistan, I'm, I'm incredibly worried at what her return means for this country. Um, her legacy um, as a two-time uh, prime minister is really a legacy of, of gross corruption. She's estimated to have stolen 1.5 to $3 billion from the Pakistani treasury. Do you have proof, Fatma, of her corruption and of her involvement um, in the allegations that you put forward? Um, well, absolutely, there's proof. If you look at um, the Kotekna corruption case, for example, the Swiss government pursued it, um, and they convicted her in 2003 for receiving $11 million in kickbacks in the Kotekna and SGS corruption case. That's a conviction in the foreign courts. Um, there's a case against her and her husband in England over property. Um, she's been implicated in the oil for food scandal. Um, for bribing Saddam Hussein's regime with a kickback of two million dollars to secure a um, hundred million dollars worth of oil contracts um, from Iraq. There's proof. I mean, this is proof that comes from the United Nations, from an independent inquiry. As Benazir Bhutto's niece, what kind of relationship do you have with her? I don't have any relationship with her. Um, no contact whatsoever. And why is that so? My father, who is an elected member of parliament, and Benazir Bhutto's younger brother, um, was assassinated by her police.